Hi there, and welcome to Morning Coffee with Miko and April. I'm April. And I'm Miko. So we hope you're all doing well. We wanted to uh, have a little talk about why such low inventory. It's just why. Yep. So... Um, you know, we, I did listen to, uh, Jordan Levine came to visit and gave a, a lecture or a seminar about the slow inventory issue and, and kind of outlined a few reasons why. And he's the economics guy from the California Association of Realtors. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I know I've had a lot of questions and um, it's just been a constant puzzle as to what's going on. Yeah, I mean, are they because of interest rates? Um, are there buyers still out there? All of that. Um, I wish we could say we had more inventory. And I keep saying, I'm optimistic. We're going to get more inventory because when is, I mean, this has been mm -hmm. going on for uh, several year, actually, years. I mean, I Well, think. years, true. Yeah, that's yeah. true. I mean, we did see like a little blip of some homes. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, whoosh, we yeah. just saw a big drop off. And anyhow, um, it, well, we still need to remain optimistic. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And, and it will get better at some and, point. And truly, the buyer activity has not slowed down either. And right. it's surprising, you know, with the interest rates the way they are. But I think everybody's becoming more realistic as well, too. Well, I think that initial rise, you know, has they, it has set in mm -hmm. that these rates are here to stay, or at least you know, somewhat in the higher ranges that they were. They're not mm -hmm. going to be back, back down to the 3% for, we don't probably know. Probably not ever. Ever, yeah. yeah. So what did Jordan have to say? So why? Yes. Why do we have such low inventory? Mm -hmm. um, you would think sellers would want to sell with all this buyer activity and prices holding strong. But this mm -hmm. is one of the, the points that was brought up is that um, according to the CAR, Chief Economist Jordan Levine, there are a few reasons for this low inventory. And one is the higher interest rates are higher and most homeowners yep. are locked in at a lower rate. So if they were to sell and purchase somewhere else at right. a higher rate, there it doesn't make sense for them uh, financially, you know, with even if yeah. with their um, net proceeds to go and have a higher payment or just as big as a payment for a downsized home or what have you. So they're yeah. holding on tight because they're locked into a, a, a lower rate as a homeowner. Well, and think about it, April, during that period of time when the interest rates were so low, everyone refinanced, everyone. That's right. That's there right. wasn't anyone that probably didn't refinance. So you're, you're looking at his, historically mm -hmm. uh, the last five or six years of people have, you know, four, three to five, in, you know, interest rates. And now they're six, seven. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's that's a main reason that he had pointed out. Um, and there is, you know, there's a lot of buyers that have been knocked out of the market as well true. due to the interest yes. rates. So then we do mm -hmm. have less buyers. Yeah. And then, but we do still have overbidding and we That's still right. have multiple offers. So it's a very unique situation. Right. And um, he, he also states that um, there will be no foreclosure crisis like there was in 2008. So inventory is going to stay tight. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it, it we're not going to have that 2009 where it just, the market was flooded because of people walking away from their homes or not being able to pay that, you know, so all of that. Um, so basically, yeah. prices will stay strong yeah. through 2024. Mm -hmm. And um, any other things he mentioned? Uh, well, he states that uh, we may start to turn the corner by the fourth quarter and into 2024. We'll maybe see a little shift okay. with interest rates okay. maybe coming down in the fives. I mean, just we may see more more inventory. Just but then that kind of counteracts with the prices, you know. It, there's really don't wait if you want to buy a house don't wait <laughs> it, it, it really is true i mean it i don't think prices are going to come down yeah. so you might as well if you want to buy a home buy it and you can always refinance it later when price right. when the uh, rates come down and you know that's yeah. i mean it's still you know home ownership is still a, the way to go i mean and we uh we constantly uh, like to listen to people like this and you know our other favorite guy is Brian Buffini, and he'll be coming out with his spring. Oh yeah. Yeah. Predictions. Yep. And so we'll keep you updated on what we hear and what we see. 
Well, thanks for listening. And uh, if you have any other questions, my number is 805-878-5056. And I'm at 805-714-8124. Thanks for watching. Yeah, we'll see you soon. Bye.